Hey guys, T'Challa here. Welcome to another Bin Zone review. Today we're talking about the Netflix original series, The Last Kingdom. Now, I just found out about the show two days ago, and I legit binged both seasons in two days. That's how compelling this show was. And initially, the first thing that drew me to was a critic comparing the show to Game of Thrones. But let me say this, first and foremost, just because a show set in the medieval times and they use swords and call each other lords and kings, doesn't make it Game of Thrones because people have been doing that way before Game of Thrones and they're going to do it way after Game of Thrones. With that being said, this show itself is a whole new beast upon itself. Like this show is about the foundation of the country of England. So it's half factual, half not. As it tells the story of Uhtred who's a young lord who had his kingdom stolen from him by his uncle after his father died. Who was banished and sold to the Vikings as a slave. And as he makes his journey back from slavehood, from Vikingism to back to England and as he started to fight for his kingdom. And you would think that it was just a simple story of him seeking revenge, which at the core of the story it is, but like it goes deeper than that. It, we find that it's not such a simple thing just to want your kingdom back and you're just gonna magically get it back no matter how badass of a sword fighter you are. Life doesn't work that way. And Uhtred soon finds this out as he's set upon these quests and journeys and he's making a name for himself. He's becoming a legend across the land and he has to help defend the last kingdom, which is Essex. Because this time is before London was I said London, but this time is before England was England. So we have all these kingdoms who form the island of England and the last kingdom is Wessex and the Vikings have pretty much taken over all of England besides Wessex. And once Uhtred and the king of Wessex get together and they make a stand and they battle for the last kingdom and they pretty much win and kick their asses. And the story continues from there and we have Uhtred and the king of England, Alfred, who both really like each other. In Alfred's eyes, Uhtred is nothing but a pagan danish viking piece of shit and in Uhtred's eyes Alfred is nothing but a pussy pie loving christian worshipping king and but they know the fact that they hate each other but they need each other and that's what makes the story compelling is the fact that you might want something but you need someone else and that's pretty much how it is in life you always gonna need somebody for something and you have to hold your nose and deal with the bullshit to get what you need. But besides from all that, this show itself is epic in its scale and what it does. While it's focused on one main character, Uhtred, and his journey, but just being in that time period, just seeing how things were back then, just seeing the action, the comedy, because there is a comedy. Uhtred is a badass, and as most badass TV stars or badass movie stars go, like, in a sword fight, he'll kick your ass. But, like, when you're chilling out with him, hanging out with him, Uhtred's a cool dude. And the show really shows us the struggles of being him like all the shit he goes through would have broken man it would have broke me Fuck, i'm not i'm i'm not a badass warrior i would have probably died a long time ago but uchi is able to persevere through anything thrown his way and another thing that i liked about the show is you can never get too attached to certain characters because i guess it's game of thrones like when whenever character you like you really like really like right don't get too attached because they all end up <laughs> but aside from that the show does what it's supposed to do well. It's very compelling. I love the show. Like, I binged it in two days. I should tell you how much I enjoyed the show as it's non-stop. And what I mean by non-stop is the show, is, each episode is one hour long, but you feel like so much happens in that one hour, but it doesn't boggle you down. Like, it's not like it's too much happening to the point where it's just convoluted. But in that hour, so many things can happen. You can get a satisfying hour, and you can just watch an hour and be like, ah, I'm done with the show for today. But I'm not that way. This is the binge zone. I binge watch everything. So I had to get watch the next episode and one next episode. And these two seasons, eight episodes apiece, 16 episodes felt like years passed by. And years did pass by in the show. And you never felt like, oh, this shit's still going on. It was more like a, I want more. But damn, I've been here for an hour. I still want more. Like, it's more than one, it's more than one of those feelings. And as the show progresses and you get more attached to Uhtred as a character and you, you grow with him. And you can see where he's coming from. And you can also grow with Alfred. Because you can see where both these characters, these pillar characters, you can see where their differences lies. And you can see what they need to do, but they can't see it themselves. But overall, the show itself is fun. But like I said, I love the characters that come in and out. Because more out than in, right? But anyway, I love those characters. And one of the mainstay characters, Father Bioka, since the first episode till now. like Just seeing how this priest has grown as a character. And while he's still pious and devoted to God, you can see that he is beginning to understand the world of man more. And I enjoyed his relationship with Uhtred because he is like Uhtred's father. If you see the first episode, you'll know. Like, he is like Uhtred's father. And as the story goes on in their relationships, and all the relationships formed in the show, like the belief in Uhtred and the belief in loyalty that his men gave him and everyone around him gave him. And 
I just keep saying Uhtred, 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 Uhtred. Like, this show is about him, and he is the main selling point of the show, and he is the best part of the show. The sword fighting is pretty fun, too. The Viking aspect is pretty fun, because we get to see it from the other side. Like, if you watch the show Vikings, you see this era from the Vikings' point of view. But in this show, you get to see it from the Saxons and the people who lived in England. You get to see it from their point of view. And it's really fun seeing, like, both sides of the tale. Like, to the Vikings, the English are moronic dumbasses who need to have their shit taken from them because they know no better. And from the English side, the Vikings are barbarian dumbasses who need to be killed and showed God because they know no better. So both sides have their pros and their cons and just seeing the conflict between them and the fact that Uhtred walks the line between both. Uhtred is both Saxon and he is Viking. So he walks that line and just seeing how it kind of tears him apart as well. Like not to, not to fully embrace either and have either fully embrace him because the Vikings think he's English, the English thinks he's Viking, so he has to walk that line and balance it well while still trying to get his kingdom back. Because we remember, his kingdom was taken from him and everything around the world makes it so hard for him to achieve what he really wants to achieve. And uh, I could go on and on explaining what the show does, but I, I'm not doing the show justice. But overall, I really enjoyed the show. If you take anything from this, my final thoughts are this show is really good. I'm going to give this show a B because this show is good. It would have rated higher had the first two episodes not been like what is going on like the first two episodes i really didn't grasp the concept of the show until afterwards but my final thoughts are if i binge watch the show in two days and i tell you these are long ass episodes it must tell you the show is good so if you haven't seen it definitely check it out if you have let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you like this video definitely give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button until next time binge on